Welcome to another week of the educational video series with the Wapello County Conservation Board. Back out here at Pioneer Ridge, uh, one of the best places to be just because it's easy to get to. And the plant we're talking about today is very plentiful around here. So I have one question to ask. Have you ever gone on a fall hike and come back covered in seeds? Happens to me all the time. Basically what that means is you've done your part to help disperse the seeds of tick trefoil. Uh, tick trefoil is also called um, beggar's lice, probably because lice, ticks, they tend to stick to you and uh, take your blood, but the seeds won't take your blood. Uh, but they do stick very well to the fur and clothing of passing animals. And yes, I say clothing because humans are animals seems to be uh, up for debate for some people. But uh, when you get these seeds stuck to you, what you're gonna do, just like other animals, is when you get to a place where you're gonna rest or you're done hiking, you're gonna take these seeds off, you're gonna drop them on the ground. What you've done is you've dispersed the seed for this plant. You've taken it away from its parent plant, and you've given it a space where it can possibly grow. The flowers of these plants you can see are almost gone because it's fall, or at least close to fall. So pink to purple flowers growing in loose clusters on top of this plant. The flowers will actually darken as the plant matures. So depending on how old this plant is, well, it might have some darker flowers on it, but usually pink to purple in color. And as these uh, flowers start to die off, you'll see that the seeds are actually growing there and getting stuck to myself and anything that passes through. While there's no known use for humans of this plant, there are a lot of animals that make use of it. It's the host plant of the silvered spotted skipper butterfly, uh, eastern tailed blue butterfly, and the nectar of these flowers is very attractive to long tongued bees. So we're talking bumblebees, a lot of native bees, as well as flies and things like that. As far as the leaves are concerned, deer, rabbits, uh, Japanese beetles and other leaf beetles will eat this plant. So there's a lot of things that this plant does to help uh, the natural world. Along with that, um, this plant also helps increase the soil quality. So prairies and prairie plants tend to have the ability to uh, use bacteria growing on their roots to change nitrogen from the air into a usable form by the plant. So they're actually enriching that soil quality, and that means good ag ground in Iowa. That's why we have such good soil here, is because we used to have the tall grass prairie. Don't let the name of this plant as tick trefoil, or the fact that you might come out with a few seeds stuck to your clothes or your hair, deter you from coming out and enjoying a walk through the woods, through the prairie. Uh, you know, a tall grass prairie in the fall is, is beautiful. So you want to come out, you want to see it. There's changes taking place every day. There's dragonflies that are migrating right now, flying over the prairie, eating insects. The monarch migration starts in September, and we'll be doing some tagging programs. So keep an eye on our Facebook page, because once they're here, we'll start advertising some tagging programs that you can come out and help with. And just get outside and enjoy it. Until next week, fall is almost here. Just remember that.